What's up, guys? This is the Michael M here in 1987. Here to give you guys um, uh, the second part of my E3 uh, 2014 coverage. What this means is I'm going to be doing videos and videos on about this. So I did my first video, which you may have seen me earlier on, which was basically my introduction to I'm doing this stuff. And then we do the second part, which is Sony. Now, Sony, in my opinion, did a good job with the with their E3 this year. They did a good job. They showed games, and they also showed some things that they're going to do for the living room. So let's start off with what they showed. They showed, um, first thing they showed was a Destiny trailer, um, which was a three-minute trailer. And what's cool about this is they also are announcing that they're going to be releasing a PS4 bundle, a crystal white PS4 with Destiny in the package on September 9th when it comes out. And not only that, you get the white PS4, a white PS4 controller, Destiny for PS4, and a 30-day uh, membership for PlayStation Plus. So that's kind of a cool deal, in my opinion. I don't know how much it will be. It might be $500, possibly. That might be, like, the max I might uh, think about it. But um, let's go on to what else they showed. They also showed The Order, 1886, um, which is uh, developed by Ready at Dawn Studios. If you not know who this developer is, they have actually done two great God of War games, uh, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta, PSP titles, which are really well done. Now they're moving back to consoles with um, or The Order, 1886, which is just kind of a third-person shooter video game uh, footage which I thought it was kind of a cool type of horror type of route was going for. It's kind of going for a horror type style. Um, so that's kind of cool what they showed. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. It's not coming out this year actually. They uh, actually got an email from PlayStation because I have a PlayStation account that they're going to be releasing the game in uh, February 20th, 2015. That's the release date right now. Um, then they showed Entwine which is actually out right now, actually. Um, for PS4, PS3, and PS Vita versions will come out later on. And if they buy this small company, it's about colors. I actually thought that was kind of a cool game. I'm not going to buy it day one. I will buy it when it comes out, and I possibly might do a little DLC arcade review of that, maybe. Who knows? Um, then there was a big one, in my opinion. Infamous First Light, which is going to be an expansion of a DLC game for Infamous Second Son, which came out uh, three years uh, three years ago. Three months ago. If you haven't know, um, I actually played it for my second son, and me and my brother played it, me and Dang Major, and we actually loved the experience, and I can't wait to actually see, um, uh, what this game is, uh, First Light, which is basically, I think, is going to be a prequel to the, the game, which shows, uh, Fetch's journey, and it's going to, like, show her powers, possibly, and her really using her powers. Um, I wanted, to, I hope I can see a bit more of it, because they showed a trailer of a cinematic, and they showed a little bit of gameplay. Well, hopefully, I'm still hanging on hope because I like the infamous franchise overall. I mean, I got the first two games, and, I, and then my brother got part three. It's really well done. Next, they show, which was a big one for me um, and my little brother, Kevin, uh, who loves The Big Planet. They showed Little Big Planet 3, which I thought they were going to like. I didn't think they were gonna actually going to release it or show it now, but they actually showed it. And what they showed was really well awesome. There's now four player co op, like I said before. I'm not saying it's in there for my car, but what's cool about this is you're not going to play the same sack boy with different skins. Instead, you're going to play with different characters. There's sack boy, I mean, there's odd sock, who is just like dog version of sack boy who's faster, he can jump and climb and do wall jumping. Then there's toggle, who's a big fatter version of um, sack boy, he's like the big gigantic. He can push gigantic heavy objects, and he can also turn small, and he's also the biggest part of the game. What I mean by small is that he can shrink himself to small spaces. And then there's the last one, I think, I believe its name is Scoot, which is a bird sack boy. It's a bird sack. Uh, and it just like flies around. It can help you get to areas where you sack boy you reasonably can't without like objects. So that's kind of cool. They uh, released, a, they said the release date of the month. They didn't actually give a precise release date of November. Uh, PS4, it's a confirmed thing. PS3, I heard there's rumors of a PS3 release. I do not know. Hopefully, um, they might do it for like two, so. It might be a cross buy type of thing. Like if you buy it on PS3, you can get it on PS4 for a limited amount of time, limited time exclusive. That kind of thing that could have worked. Um, next day show was a game from from software, which was originally known as a game called Project Beast, but is now known as Bloodborne, which will not be coming out this year, but coming out next year. And um, I know I should be talking about what I think about these games and all that, but I just gotta say. Based on what I've seen so far with Bloodborne, Living Planet, I'm really excited about what PlayStation really showed me, and Infamous as well. And the Order 1886, in my opinion, really looks interesting. I'm not like so yet. I mean, it looks interesting. I kind of like, I'm kind of like getting into horror little by little. I mean, Dead Space kind of rolled me into horror, 
and Outlast kind of pulled me into horror, and I hope this game kind of, like, helped me go into horror again, the place I never went to. So, let's get on down the list. Then they showed Far Cry 4, which is the team footage of right now. Uh, there's a release date, November 18, 2014, and if you buy Far Cry 4 on PS3 or PS4, friends can join your game, even if they don't have it. This is actually said by the developers of Ubisoft. Um, who are making the game, and this is uh, basically footage of the game that was released at E3. Uh, I was really surprised at this. I really loved Far Cry 3. It was a really great game. It was visually a beautiful game. The villain was outstanding. And now they have a new villain in the game, which they showed earlier at Ubisoft's press conference. Um, and yeah, I don't know the name of him, but he is intriguing already. Uh, and I, they did they did take a different approach to um, the villain. While Voss in Far Cry 3, he was much more uncontrollable, he was aggressive, and he wasn't always calm. This one is actually a lot more calmer, and he's also insane as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, then they also showed Dead Island 2, and I must say right now, I didn't really actually like the original Dead Island. I wasn't a big fan of it. I didn't, I can't say I didn't like it, but I never got really into it because I never really played it too much. And then Dead Island, Rick Tide, I was like, uh... Dead Island, Rick Tide, didn't really cut, grab my infinite ear because it was just a gigantic add-on. But when they released Dead Island 2, I was kind of surprised. I mean, it's made by a different company. It's not made by tech, not by company, a different developer. Techland is not doing this one. They're doing Dying Light, which is another project of zombies and parkour, which looks really damn cool to do a footage of. Um, it's made by Jaeger Interactive. This is the guys who get stuck off the line. The game that I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that game. But I can't see what they're gonna do with the zombie franchise and what they're gonna take next, the next level. Um, that's like, uh, letter parts. Um, I will talk about the games, and I'm going to talk about the entire conference later on. Um, then there is also showed Last of Us Remastered for PS4. It is coming out on July 29th. It, uh, they showed it at, at E3, the trailer. Uh, this is the trailer of Dead Island 2, actually. That's like, I kind of like the trailer, actually, but it's just a trailer, so, you know. Until they show gameplay, then I might be really excited about it, and overall, that's my opinion on it. Now back to uh, July, um, July 29th, at the end of July we were going to get Last of Us for PS4, and I can't like, wait for Last of Us for PS4. Um, I never actually got a chance to actually review Last of Us for PS3, but I might review the PS4 version just because um, I just want to catch up with time for all that stuff, so I mean I certainly do that. Um, that's the kind of thing I really wanted to do so, for a while. I tried to review it, but that would be too late, and then I will actually watch it. So. Then they also said that Diablo 3... Will also be coming out on August 19th for next gen, I believe. And what this is is it's gonna be uh, have on the clickers, like some of the monsters that you see in the dungeons. They're gonna be clickers on Last of Us, so that's kind of a cool. It's just add on for PlayStation owners. That's kind of a cool like thing. Like, ooh, check this out. Now you got this little attack. Right? So that's kind of cool. Then they uh, talked about Battlefield Hardline for a little bit, which is uh, October 21st. It's gonna be released on the week for, uh, week for Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity. I'm sick. Um, I I was uh, I I gotta admit, Battlefield 4 kind of got me upset with some problems with the launch and release, and I really hope that Visceral Games, the developers of this game, really see watch watch online programming and make sure the online actually works. So, if you should not know Visceral Games is developing this game. If you do not know it, they actually did on um, the Dead Space franchise, Dead Space One, Two, and Three, and I believe they also worked on the. Misfire of Army of Two, Devil's Cartel, that game, that kind of misfire of a game, so, who knows what to say about that, but I hope Back to Harlem really is good, because it's a cop and robber type of game, and I always wanted to play a cop and robber type of game, I mean, Payday, The Heist, I didn't really got a chance to play those games, um, so, this could be the next, uh, type of thing, so, for me, um, then they also talked, then, they kind of really did something cool with the letters here, which was the type of thing they did with. Uh, Sony actually looked at letters from people, or and then they got a letter from Tim Schafer disguising himself as a little girl, like, not disguising, but uh, impersonating a little girl, saying to bring Grim Fandango to PS4 and PS Vita. So that means that people like me, who never been alive, I think, when Grim Fandango came out, or I was too young to play, or I didn't know what was Grim Fandango. I can play it now, but there's no release date for it. So that's the only problem with it, is that there's no release date for Grim Fandango, PS4, and Vita. That's the only thing. Then they also showed um, Let It Die, which is suited at 51, or Crest Hap, our manufacturers. 
uh, new game, 2015 is being released. Then they also showed No Man's Sky, which is going to be on PS4, so that's a good thing. It might be on PC as well, so don't worry about that, PC owners. You still can buy it on PC, hope. And then, they also showed some pictures of a PS4's headset called the Morpheus. Um, I don't know that much information, but I actually did a news video about it long ago, last year. It's called Sony making a virtual reality headset. That's what this basically is. The Morpheus is a virtual reality headset. So that's what it is. Um, then... Sony actually announced that they're going to be putting YouTube on PS4. Now, YouTube on PS4 is kind of a thing that I am not know. I got, like, YouTube on everything. I got, like, YouTube on this. I have it on my iPad. I have it on my Vita, my 3DS, my Wii U. All my consoles. So it would be nice to actually have it on, on PS4 because it wasn't at launch. They said I have to use IGN and all that stuff. So that's that. Then they also talked about PS PlayStation Now, which was the PlayStation Now was talked about last year, earlier this year, was... About streaming like PS3 games to your PS4 to get that type of experience that you never got before, and um, I'm really surprised about it. It um, the the beta, the open beta, will be out on July 31st. PS4, beta, and PS3. That's what it means. So it's gonna be on those systems. And if you don't have any of those things, you can also use it on your Sony TV. And they also showed examples. Well, not examples, but they said that these games will work. Dead Space 3. God of War Ascension and Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero. So those games, as of right now, will be on the open beta on July 31st. Also, I'd like to mention that Destiny will have its open beta on July uh, 17th, as my brother's birthday, Danny Danger. So, close to him. Um, also, they also gave a, little, a, a tiny bit of support to the Vita, which was kind of disappointing to me because um, I have a Vita, and I love my Vita. I love playing Walking Dead on this. I love playing Killzone on this. Little Planet, Jack and Dexter, Metal Gear like Solid. And they only didn't show too much support to the Vita. So what did they show? They showed um, Tales of Heart art, which is from Namco Bandai, which is the Tales of franchise on the Vita now. Um, then they also said that so Ubisoft is going to go back to it and release um, Child of Light to it. Um, in case you know Child of Light came out like a few months ago, like two months ago possibly. Or a month ago, who knows? I didn't actually I got a chance to play it, so I might actually play it in the Vita to see how it works. Um, then uh, Telltale is returning back to the uh, Vita, of course, with um, Tales of the Borderlands, which is their next project other than Game of Thrones. So that's gonna be on Vita. Um, I don't know when it's gonna be out. I do know it will really come out in the next few months. I mean, Vita always gets a short end of the stick. That's how I see it. And I wish they showed more support to Vita. Wait, they did. Minecraft is gonna be on the Vita. That's what they said. So my, so Minecraft users who want it on the Vita, they will get it on this bad boy. It's not. It's gonna be on PS4 soon. I heard. So it's gonna be a really a same port of the PS3 version. So don't worry about that. And then um Sony. This is where Sony has to um, uh, uh go to um the living room type of thing with the PlayStation TV system we're talking about. It'll come out this fall for a hundred dollars. And it's basically you're gonna be playing your PS4 games on there. You can stream music and video content on through that PS4 TV. Not PS4 TV, it's basically you can play PS4 games, you can play PS3 games, you can play PlayStation Classics, and possibly PS2 games. So that's a lot of games. And that is over a thousand games at launch this at the end of the year. <coughs> so that's it. This is also a trailer for Magic of Two, which will be coming out soon. I don't know when. I think it's out actually right now, maybe. I don't know. Um, back to my point. Uh, PS, uh, PlayStation TV. I don't really know if I'm really gonna get this because I already have PlayStation. I've been like supporting PlayStation for a while. I have the Vita. I have PS3. Right here. I have a PS. Well, P uh, we have my family has a PS4. Um, all that stuff. So it's really. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, but I think some people who don't really have can't spend all that money to get those consoles. So I see their, their type of approach for it. So it's kind of like for the Ouya and all that like indie gaming companies like for like new like new consoles like GameStick, Ouya, Nvidia Shield and all that other stuff. So and Steambox which is going to do all that crazy stuff. I don't even talk about it. Um, the, and there's also going to be a $140 bundle of the PlayStation TV. Now what this means is it's going to be coming with a du a dual shock controller, which is a PS3 controller, dual shock 3 controller. Then it will come with uh, HDMI cable, I believe. 
and it will also come with a eight gigabyte memory chip and le the Lego Movie Video Game beta version, of course. So that's what you get with the hundred and forty dollar bundle which comes this fall. So better start. Well, it's not made that much money for you adults out there. Next, um, they also showed a Ratchet and Clank. Um, it's gonna be uh, Ratchet and Clank the movie, which is gonna be coming out next year. And they're also going to be remastering the original Ratchet and Clank on PlayStation 4. Now, I love Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank is one of those like franchises that I played as a little kid on PS2. I loved every second of it. And to see it on the big screen in theaters next year, and to see the game... Yeah, and this is like Tim Schafer, like, from, um, like, this saying, like... Let you me know, get off top. You can just figure that out for yourself. Um... So I love Ratchet and Clank. I mean, see it on PS4 and its visuals and its updating, rebooting, and all that stuff. It's gonna look excellent. Now that's what they went to for um, like live room and the entertainment type of thing. Then they went back to games with a little bit of footage of Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain, the second part of the Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, game. Then they also said that Grand Theft Auto 5 is coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC this fall. So that is gonna be amazing. The fact that Rockstar is really like taking a chance and saying, "Look, we can like make more, not make more money, but really like expand the use of our games and put it to like next gen consoles and give it a PC owner who never got a chance to use it at when it originally came out last year." Too good to them. Also, they showed some Batman Arkham Knight footage, and I love Batman. And, and what they showed that there was really well done. It wasn't too much. But they did show Batman gliding. They showed him um, in a suit. Like with the mechanical warfare, like the mask going on his body, like his face, all that stuff, and the mechanical stuff on it. It looked really damn cool. Then they showed the Batmobile. It looked freaking awesome. I really look, it look the Batmobile looks outstanding, in my opinion. And um, they also said that PS4 owners also get Scarecrow missions only on PlayStation 4. I really was sad that they really get to next year, though, because I really want to get it this year. I'm looking for it so badly. I understand that didn't take a while because Batman just came out, like Arkham Origins, which has not been my rock star, it's been my one of other game Montreal, so woohoo. Um so uh, back to my point. And then they ended e their Sony E3 with Uncharted 4 at this end, with a slight CGI trailer, which is basically called a PS4. So that's cool. At this end, I like to see Love Uncharted, Love Uncharted, um, which is uh, which will be coming out next year. So don't, well, don't expect it to come out this year, it's coming out next year. And that's showing a lot of uh, more support to indie gamers. So like Devolver, like this game's going to be uh, coming out for PlayStation 4, which is going to be uh, another indie game. And there's uh, Broforce for PS4 and Vita, which will be on another indie game. And tons of other stuff. Um, so that's really all that they really showed at PlayStation. Um, so what's, uh, so what do they think of PlayStation, v, uh, PlayStation, uh, press conference, 2013's, um, 2014's E3? Well, I'd say it was really surprising. I thought they weren't going to show too many games, because they showed it all last year, but they surprised me again, they always know how to surprise me, and they did a really good job this year. A damn mess on the floor. Uh, so, what did I, what do I think about Sony's E3? Thumbs up by E3. Really good. I'll give my full opinion about it at the end, which will be at, uh, part 5, I believe. So, check out part 5 when it comes out later on. Not uh, not today, not tomorrow. Maybe later on. And I'm done with the week. So, just so, like, so I don't want to worry about it. So, that's all I gotta say for right now. Um, PS4 is okay. Solid thing. Bless you. Um, so, I'll be doing Microsoft's on E3 next. Um, which will be a lot longer, I think. Maybe a lot less. Who knows? I think it'll be the same time. Um, so, I'll be doing Microsoft's E3 next. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for, like, checking out my videos and check them all down on that stuff. I really do appreciate it, guys. Um, so, please like the video. Comment below and subscribe. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter. Um, my name on Facebook is Michael Martinez. My name on Twitter is DMichaelAlignment1997. So that's my name on those websites. You want to look me up there? That's how you look me up. Um, so, bye guys. I'll be doing more videos. And I'll be doing reviews of other games, movies, and all that stuff. I'll do that as soon as I can. I hope I don't stress myself with all this stuff. So, bye. Jesus, don't stop.